No contest. Myself. This is awesome. I always sound much higher pitched than I expected. You know, I I, I think the same thing sometimes. <laughs> Three. All right. Hello, my name is Dark This is Bernie vs. Punk Punk. Game one of Critters Round One at uh, Toxic City Tussle Four. Yeah, Toxic uh, Arcadian Edition. Arcadian Edition. It's like Arcade Edition, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm excited. I get to play in this tournament because I can't get banned somehow. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never be banned. What? At the rate we're going, I am the permanent gatekeeper. Look, man, you're my gatekeeper. Nevertheless, uh, men in my Ganondorf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say, like, this. Uh, okay, well, I mean, as a sort of the matchup, is Ganondorf gets to just kill Meta Knight on contact, but Meta Knight doesn't have to get touched if he doesn't want to. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Stock Monk Monk putting up a lot of work. Monk Monk actually got what, second in the first Toxic City Tussle? Yeah, I think so. He's so doing really good. I heard he was okay. Was he, he was Cal Colorado for a while and yeah. now he's here? Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, he's uh, he's really good. Honestly, I didn't expect to see him again. I was really worried that I'd miss my one chance to play him. What oh did my God. Awesome <laughs> select. Man, he goes to so up. Down throw, yeah. like down B, and then follows up with another down B. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Honestly, this is really cool. We've been seeing a lot more like Falcon and Ganondorf using the stomp to box and down special. So like really extend into much bigger combos. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough mix-up to be ready for because it comes out so fast. Yeah, it's actually extremely surprising. Yeah. Oh my god. Nice way to fall down. Yeah, well, pretty will be Oh, okay, let's go in. Yeah, straight for the drill. Yeah. Alright, I like to retreat to the platform. Uh, gives, gives them some space to think about what is that next action. I think a lot of this match, especially with Monk Monk, is going to be waiting waiting for Monk Monk to attempt to double jump or attempt to float and then going up to beat him because he's out of options. Kendrick does not just got an option fast enough to be able to approach him below. Yeah. Uh, unless he makes the read, then I'll be able to fix that. I don't think, I think um, Gander's side B in aerial form does not actually have enough time for, not fast enough to give him a follow up on a, uh, a command grab versus a Oh, there we go, down smash. What's the ledge? Alright, well, Ernie evening it up! Alright, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I was about to say, every time Monk Monk really has gotten punishment while he was invincible, so. Oh, there's the big one. Yeah. Quick game one. Yeah, uh, I, I think he was trying to ledge cancel into the uh, into the platform. Yeah, he was gonna try to glide over to the platform. So. All right. So I don't know Bernie, and he has no other character. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what else he plays. Uh, is Bernie from around here? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I've seen Bernie on Facebook a little bit. He's uh, he's still player. He's invited people to come over and play at his house. But uh, I have, I think this is. I mean, I know a lot of people, so it's really hard for me to keep up with. Like, Three, two, I think this is the first time I met Bernie. Go. Okay. Well, cool. Well, it's exciting that you made it out, especially the Arcadian. Oh yeah. yeah it's a test of work. Ooh, oh, definitely there. a good place to do it. Uh, it is a shame oh. that we got or that we. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that Man, was it. Just better than I could do that. Yeah. Oh boy. I think this is actually a very difficult counter pick for Meta Knight, solely for the fact that you have to like Ganondorf covers platform there very well. Right. And like you have to like accept the fact that he's gonna cover your jump option and then your your like your ground option as well. Absolutely. Uh Bernie could really use slightly better conversions on what little he's getting because with a couple up airs where you just kinda like let it go and uh, with Ganondorf it's getting pretty serious for to start getting some big conversions. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, he bug blocked on it! He just walked back! Uh-oh, re-grab, alright. I was Bernie getting convert off this. Alright, I don't know if Bernie knows about the up throw down stuff with the version or not. Oh, oh that was really good. Yeah, Bernie taking his stock. Let's see how he can turn this with the ability. Punch! Good fair. I think the 
the best thing Bernie can do whenever Mark Hunt respawns is just full run past him from one corner to the other. <laughs> You're right. Like, actually. He's covered every jump, he's covered dash dancing, all of it was just one move. It's fair. Yeah. Oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was sick! Yeah. Oh my god. One smooth! Okay, that was a Marth like crap. <laughs> to play, so I'm going to go ahead and get on with getting on. All right, all right. So thank you for having me on commentary. I hope to get to do more, actually, like for real. Yeah, I love commentary. It's fun. Cool. Well, thank you. Play me some uh, commentary, which is one of my favorite video games. <laughs> this is really cool. All right, so Malachite and Cole versus Mung Mung and Mr. Nasty Time. Mung Mung and Mr. Nasty Time beat us in winners round one and losers round two, uh, or alternatively losers round one if you consider you know, we got back to losers round negative one. Is that the thing to you? This is pretty cool. That is really freaking loud. <laughs> but I'm excited. This is gonna be cool. Hey, you want to commentate? Let's freaking go. All right, so I'm excited. Let me introduce to you my uh, cohort in crime of Team Rar. I'm Bowser. The very best team possible, Bowser. Versus two Ganondorfs. It was nonsense. It was sick. <laughs> uh, this is, please introduce yourself. Uh, I am Deor. That's the way. Deor and I are both from uh, Espill, way, way up north. Four and a half hour drive. It's been really exciting. We've got some intense rock, paper, scissors action that we cannot see. It's not important. Uh, all right, so this is looking like Malachite and Cole playing Snake and Cheek uh, versus Monk Monk and Mr. Nasty Time, who are actually playing um, Ganondorf and DK, respectively. Yeah. Uh, 
they were doing Dumb Ganondorf earlier. That's true. Uh, this is going to be super exciting. No. No, my ear. Okay, we're good. Uh, pro tip for commentator. Don't drink soda before commentary. It makes that, you that sound like a <laughs> you really do get sick. All right, I think this is the game. I think they're in. Yeah, this is we're going. All right, doubles as uh, as chaotic as ever. Yeah. Cole already taking an early 50% uh, damage apart from his teammate. But he's trying to explain it. You know, you know what? It's hard to tell. Right? No, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Uh, no one really has, like, taken proper stage control yet. I like how he's putting a quick edge guard on, uh, on Mr. Cassie kind of looks fortunately not. I see enough of this area. All right. Oh, okay, there's a double kill. One for one. One of the biggest challenges of playing a big character in doubles is that there are points where your teammate is everybody. Yeah. Does, your opponent's everybody, your team's everybody. It's DK time. Yeah. It's not DK time. Combo's the big goal. I was excited. Oh, there's a down tilt. Trying to cover the uh, the tech Ooh, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say. Here, can you, um, you need to put your mic up and put it close to your mouth? Like, bend it in, it's, it's like, oh, what do you know? There you go, now I can really hear you. All right, we're back at the, mind is gone. <laughs> so, yeah. Blake Snake's doing his best to stay outside of the fray and just poke on the outside. Oh, man, I think that, like, a solid uh, Ganador. Malachi is a really good job of holding out of what stocks he's got. 96% in the corner. A rough scenario. Unmark has not managed to get a tech chase follow up out of down special on Malachite Stick yet, so that potential jump is not a bad idea. Oh, and he gets the stick. Oh, Unmark's the rest of you down. Bringing you in it. So what I'm waiting for, really, is no one's gotten any, like, clear, genuine edge guards in the most recent period. Here. This is all stage. No mix up possible in a throw. It's not in doubles. DK getting back. All right. I really appreciate this. Uh, Cole has been doing a good job of one stock tank. And two, just like controlling his part of the stage. It's not a lot of the And he is oh. gone. I stand corrected. All right. Snake recovery time. Can we stop him? Huh? The answer is no. Snake recovery for me. <laughs> that stick. Mutt Mutt controlling all of the inside of the stage. No, no, he didn't. Looks like he got the snake. Right. It's a, one thing I like to see. Uh, a lot of people are paying snake a lot of respect when he comes down. It's really important that you don't tip the grenade that he reverses to land with because it will basically turn it into his combo. And that's really awful. Oh, I'm not going hard there. Uzi just got off to snake's strategy and going harder on it. Now that it's easily helping him much. Truly. All right, this is, this is a rough two-on-one. Both characters here do a pretty mean thing to Ganondorf uh, in the right condition. And I say this is the right condition. I would say so. Two-on-one is pretty hard. Really, grabs are not an option in this scenario, so he's going to have to beat the shield without beating the shield. Ganondorf is stuck on the left side of the stage. Okay. There is. Oh, wave landed to grab the bomb. There's the stick. It takes anything. Ooh, good there. All right. Honestly, can be the ledge. Probably the best option. Yeah, just takes eight, 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 stops his opponent. And this is a good edge guard. This yeah, could be it. Is. Oh my god. All right. Just like that. One v one. Almost tied. Oh, that shield pressure was sick. Again, we're gonna take it. Uh oh. Malachi going for the restick. Not quite enough. I'm gonna need something. That is probably okay. Good ledge, lad. Yeah. With no double jump, uh, which I'm pretty sure Ganondorf had, uh, that was probably very unsafe. So not too bad. It was a really good cl or close game one. Uh, Monk Monk and or Monk Monk and Mr. Nasty or Mr. Nasty tied this deck. Yes. the first game to Malachi and Cole. Okay, I'm good. See if I can get my turn down just a little bit. Yeah, you're a little loud. Well, no, not my. I, I can move my.
busy. I'll get I'll get the deafening volume turned down in a second. I've just moved the mic. Away. Hey, can we turn the volume down on these headphones by just a little bit? Perfect. Thank you very much. Beautiful. All right, we are back. I can hear myself. <laughs> I think there we go. Yeah, there. Okay. So, all right, this is going to be interesting. I um. Okay, where would? Okay, if you're you're playing, we're playing Ganondorf and, and DK. What would you think we would want to use? Uh, space. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Okay, we're going back to the end. And to be fair, this is one of the wider stages of the starter list outside of the extremes. That's true. Uh, the biggest challenge of the stage is Snake Venom is very heavily how low the blast zone is. There's a lot of potential for uh, three of, in fact, I think basically every character on the screen with alone time with an opponent could just take a stock. Oh my god, that was the most raw, unadulterated fair I've ever seen. DK trying to fish that spike, but it just doesn't work out. Snake out of the corner again, switching sides. Blue has center stage, this is great. There's the aerial tech that I set up, very hard to get out of. That guy does his spacing. Yeah. Yeah. Still having a man pretty demanding control of the stage. So that down smash. Oh, oh. oh. Chris gets the save. We have it reversed. So Malachi did a really good thing there. So he set up the uh, or the up air down smash for combo, but faked it instead because he recognized that teammate was too close. Yeah, that's uh, uh, heavily tough. Did, did, did he do what I think he yeah, did? Yeah, that was a taunt. That was a sick taunt. It looked great. Uh, that was probably a mash out. <laughs> I thought he just accepted his death. I right. said go out in style. Right. Well, if he did, that's going to be more of a man than I. I do taunts with shield pressure instead. <laughs> All right, there's the stick on TK. Cole is doing a really good job of just, like, making it hard for any of his opponents to really just Play with or play with Snake alone. It's really good. Ooh, there's the back throw. Free recovery for everyone involved. Oh. Uh, I think I think Gandor killed it. Uh, that was a team kill, yep. Alright, Reggie now has center stage again. Oh, good tech neutral read. So what we haven't seen yet is much of a reason when available for Sheik to actually be afraid to block either of these characters. That's a good early taunt punch. Oh, no, that's the bar is the stock. Back throw. There it is. All right, Snake's hitting back for free. As he does. Yep. So that was actually really interesting. Uh, what the other, or what Blue Team was trying to do there was take advantage of the fact that Snake was not present to deal a bunch of damage to Sheik, but in the scenario, it probably would have been better, would have been to start working on the edge guard of Snake. Oh, good. Oh. Yeah. Uh, start working on the edge guard for Snake and instead just get rid of Sheik. But this seems to have worked out better overall. Thanks to really good. No, Sheik's too tiny. Oh. All right. This All right. is hard. This is hard. Andy. Get the Olympic the Edgehog. That, that was, was another perfect. pretty explosive game. I agree. That was back and forth. It was like on a dime. Yup. Uh, two minutes and 51 seconds was the uh, time I got to see on the left. So we're probably looking at just over a three minute game. Uh, at the very best. All right. One and one. I think they got the match over there recorded. Yeah, they did. Okay. So for anybody not aware, losers finals, winners finals, grand finals, all that fun final stuff. Uh, in doubles, this tournament is two of three due to time constraints. So unfortunately, this game and the next, uh, well, this game is down to the last match. So this could be the tournament for either of these teams. Uh, Battlefield, okay. Three. Battlefield is the scariest map for these. Hey, for all four of these characters, it is. Um, I don't know how much experience Cole has in melee, but if he has plenty, then this is like home for him as a sheet player. Uh, similarly, Snake and DK and Ganondorf all get huge rewards off of good movement on these platforms. Yeah. I've 
using some nutty stuff to DK on that uh, battlefield. Uh, Ooh, going for that Sheik edge guard. Sheik in a real bad position. Okay. Oh, there's the stick. All right. DK primed for death. Gives the long edge guard. And oh, he didn't quite recover for free. There's the save. There's the fair. There. Let's go. Malachite punished for recovering high, which DK should do at any opportunity given how big his moves are. Oh no. Oh no, Snake's been abducted. Okay. Ooh, good recovery. I know what this song is now. It's been bugging me. What's it from? It, it's the, from the end of um, the hand time. Oh, neat. Final boss fight. Huh. Back to the match. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah. Linus with the amazing music choices. Ooh, good tech on the stomp. Kendra's there with the f -tilt. Stock tank ain't like a boss. That's true. Like, actually, I didn't even realize it, but she just got all four stocks still. Oh, here's the stick. Not enough, though. Okay, oh. had four stocks. Snake had to borrow one. <laughs> Commentary curse. Yeah, I'm just sad enough of it. Ooh, good raw grenade. Raw? That was raw. He's not good. All right, Cole is taking the stage. It's his now. Get the good pressure on DK. Momo not able to make it back. Ooh, don't break. Nope. That was good awareness by Momo covering, uh, taking back the stage if possible. They've been doing really well the whole tournament, frankly. I mean, yeah. that would be why they're here, I suppose. Yeah. Probably, yeah. All right, Cole is doing a number on the not dying her opponents. Like strategy, business, it works. Gets popped up by the surprise down special. Ooh, solid. That's, it was only a matter of time for DK. He was really up there. All right, Mr. Nasty Time on his last stock, as is Snake. This is where the real, like, magic of that stock tanking stuff starts to play out. Yeah, Bolt is doing a really good job. He's got a lot of respect from his opponents thus far. There's the dare to take the stock. All right, Killing Snake here will put those teams at one and one. That's it, I'm excited. Uh-oh, they're saying someone better save him. Malachite's going to town. Going for a walk, doing a river dance. My right, blue team has set a stage. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Nasty Time failing to save his though. teammates. Oh, oh my, that what a fair. There. Let's go. Ooh. All right. All right. This is Plan it. Safe. This is the raw neutral special to kill everyone. Oh, dang it. No. Just jump. Like, just jump forward and do it. I believe in you. Get the upward one on one of them. Oh, he did it. <laughs> well, okay, thanks for listening to me. It was sick. Good ledge grab. He's back in the game. This is a good time to edge guard at least one of these characters. The recovery is insane. Um, but it wasn't enough. True enough. That was a really good set. Good losing finals. Malachi Cole taking it over Mung Monk and Mr. Nasty Time. Uh, I probably have to go play my tournament match now because.